Hi there, it's Joanna from Concept Wedding Designs and today I'm going to show you how to add patterns to your wedding table illustrations. Now if you're new to Procreate, I've got a free mini course teaching you how to go from never having used Procreate before to creating your first wedding ceremony illustration. I'll stick the link to that mini course in the description below if you want to join. And all of the brushes that I use in today's tutorial are available in my Etsy store. Um, I have everything from vases, glasses, chairs, tables, all of your ceremony brush stamps, bar brush stamps, tons of flowers and greenery. So you never have to draw from scratch. You can use these brush stamps to simply color in and build up your wedding illustrations really quickly and easily. Again, I'll put a link to my Etsy shop in the description below. Today, I'm gonna to show you how to add patterns to your illustrations. And I'm gonna show you a few different ways of doing this. The first way I'm gonna show you is how to add a custom pattern that we draw from scratch. And then I'm gonna show you how to add textures using some of our brushes. And lastly, I'll show you how to add a PNG file that you found somewhere online, uh, such as maybe a linen swatch or a pattern that you Googled. So to start with, I'm gonna show you how to add a pattern such as this loose greenery, hand-drawn pattern onto a table linen. So what we need to do, go onto our gallery and we're gonna create a canvas that is square. So this one here I've already created, it is 2048 by 2048 pixels. So I'm gonna open that up. If you haven't got one already created, you can click this plus button here. I've already got mine saved under square, but you can simply click here and you're just gonna type in 2048 and again in here 2048 and it creates that square canvas for you. All I'm gonna do here is just draw some greenery. So I'm gonna go into my color palette, pick a color. From the basic brush set, I'm just gonna select heavy leaves. And then feel free to just play around with different leaf designs or any pattern that you want to create. To keep it simple, I'll just create something like this. I'm gonna select the arrow tool and I'm gonna make sure this is centered on the screen. So I'm gonna move it down until these orange lines meet in the middle. And if you don't see any of these lines, you need to go into snapping here and just make sure this is on. So now what I'm gonna do is swipe left and duplicate it. Take that arrow tool and I'm gonna move this duplicated layer down and left until this blue dot and this blue dot are on the edges of the canvas. And again, your orange lines vertically and horizontally will show you when that has reached the edge. Go back to that original layer and duplicate it. This one I'm gonna move up to the top left. Again, making sure I snap to those orange lines. Same again in the top right. Once again in the bottom right. Now if you want to add any more detail into this kind of white space here, you can do that. I'm gonna pinch those layers to combine them. I'll add another layer above and let's just add a few more pieces into this space here. We can duplicate and move some of these around. So once you're happy with your pattern, gonna combine all those layers 
I'm going to go up here to my wrench icon, turn on drawing guide and edit drawing guide. And what you're aiming for is this cross section of your canvas. So you're going to select 2D grid and then you need to move this slider until it snaps to the edges of the canvas. So all you're seeing is the four squares divided by this line. You can make these lines thicker if you want so that you can see them more easily and you can also move this slide at the top if you want to change the colour of the lines to see more clearly. Now what I'm going to do with that layer we created is swipe left, duplicate it, take that arrow tool and ensure that you have uniform selected and you're going to take this top right blue dot, bring it down until you snap to those orange lines. Again, take the original layer, duplicate it, select your move tool and do the same in the top left box. One more in the top right and that original layer in the bottom right. And you can see you've now created this repeating pattern. Pinch those all together and then we're going to do that process one more time. So duplicate, move down to the left, duplicate the original, up into the top left, duplicate into the top right and that original layer will drop into the bottom right box. And again, pinch those together. Now what we're going to do is take this layer that we've created and move it into our illustration. So go and select the layer that we've created, hold over it and you can simply use your other hand to select the illustration and your layers and you're going to drop the pattern into a layer that sits above the table linen. Swipe left to duplicate it once and turn off that original. And what we're going to do is put this pattern into the side of the linen here and then we'll create one more duplicate where we'll just place it on the top as well. So with that layer above our table linen, I am going to resize it and just move it down and center it. I'm going to duplicate it and move another layer over to the right. I can merge those two together. And now if I duplicate it one more time just to make it bolder and a bit more visible. If I select clipping mask, you can see the pattern now is only showing over the table linen and it's removed the pattern from outside of that shape. Now to place the pattern onto the top, what I'll do is duplicate that original large layer that we had. Again, I'm gonna reduce the size of this down to match the other pattern. I'm gonna place it on the top of our linen, just so this is the bit that's gonna show. I'll duplicate that once, move it over to cover the right-hand side of the linen. I'll merge those down duplicate them so they are as bold as the ones that we did here. And now I'm going to use my selection tool and I'm going to distort this pattern. So I'm going to use the distort tool and I'm just going to move this layer down. And you'll see the perspective of these leaves now is more relevant to the top of the table. And I'm going to bring in this top right and top left dials just like this and then select clipping mask and you'll see the pattern now is on the top of the table in perspective with the illustration. And so that's how we can add a custom pattern onto our table limit. So in this example I've got a place setting illustration, the top down bird's eye view of a table. This brush set is available as a bundle, which you can again find in my Etsy store. I'm going to show you how to add some pattern to the table linen in this aspect. And this time I'm going to show you how to do it 
by using some brushes. So I'm going to create a new layer so we can lay down our linen pattern. And if we go into our texture brush set, there's many different brushes you might want to use from this brush set. Already create a few so you don't have to hand draw any of these patterns. And all you would do is select the pattern and you're just basically going to colour in this layer. And this brush has already got that repeating pattern created for you so you don't have to do any work. You simply just colour that layer in. Obviously selecting the colour that you'd want that linen to be. And you would sit that layer underneath your illustration so it would sit something like that underneath your place settings and flowers that you've already created and again I'll show you this with a different pattern maybe we're going to add a geometric shape in a gold colour again this layer needs to sit underneath your plates and flatware glassware and you simply just go and colour in the table linen. Now some other brushes that you might use to do this with include your greenery brushes where you've got lots and lots of different patterns to use. For example this eucalyptus or different patterns such as this. We basically can create so many different varieties of patterns using the brushes that are already created for you. And again, you might find some brushes within in the Flower Blooms brush set. You have some brushes that can give you floral patterns on your linens, such as that one. And again, in the flower brush set, you again have lots and lots of different flowers here to choose from. So there you go, that's how to add patterns to create a kind of bespoke linen on your illustration using some of the brushes that we already have in our library. The final technique I'm going to show you in how, how to add patterns to illustrations is by using an image that you find on the internet. Maybe this is a swatch from one of the rental companies you're using or just the pattern you find online. But always be careful what you're copying and putting into your illustrations if you're sharing publicly and make sure you credit the right people so you're not infringing any copyright. So here we've got a ceremony design illustration. What I'm going to do is just go and find a pattern that we were going to put onto this aisle as well as onto the stage as well for the ceremony. So I've already been online and found a pattern that I want to use on this aisle. All I'm going to do is select the wrench icon, add and insert photo, go and select that pattern and it will import into your illustration. Now I'm going to increase the size of the pattern and then I'm going to select the distort tool and I'm going to move the edges of this pattern to align with the perspective that we have already going on in this illustration. So something like that. And obviously be careful when you import these patterns that you're not losing too much of the detail. I've got my illustration all on one layer here, but if you had your aisle on one layer, you would simply put this pattern on top and select that clipping mask so that the pattern just fills the aisle shape. But because I've done it this way, what I'm going to do is just reduce the opacity down, take my eraser, 
and I'm just going to raise the pattern where it should sit underneath these florals and I'll show you one more time and place this onto the ceremony stage as well. So I'm going to increase the size, select that distort tool and I'll just place this pattern onto the top of our stage here. Again, if you have these flowers on a different layer, you could turn them off so that you can find the exact points that represent the edge of this stage. And there you go. You can see how you can add PNG files or image files that you find online into your illustrations and just to sort them slightly so that they are aligned with the perspective within the illustration. And I wanted to show you one more example of this with a bar illustration. I know a lot of people nowadays have uh, kind of wallpaper or custom patterns put in as inserts into the bar. So for example, within this illustration, I would simply go and insert the image of the pattern that we found online. You can reduce the size of it. Place it where you want to see it within that bar and then remove any edges that you have showing outside of that shape. and duplicate it into any other shapes you want to fill. And there you go. It's another example of how to add a image pattern to one of your illustrations. Again, see the description below for links to my Etsy store with all of the brush sets in. If you want to join the mini course, you can register for that below. If you do have any questions about creating your own wedding illustrations for your clients or suggestions for upcoming tutorials, just drop a comment below and I'll be sure to get back to you.